All right, this is one I've actually kind of wanted to do for a little while now, and this is more of a this is more of a thought experiment than it is, you know, uh, an, an article or anything. Um, what is an invasive species? We like to point at things like, um, you know, obviously the Burmese pythons in the Everglades or the lantern flies. I think that's what they're called. Um, you know, uh, lionfish in the sea, you know, invasive plants that choke out, you know, other plants. There, there's all sorts of invasive animals, especially down here in Florida. But one thing that I don't think, I, I, I anytime I do anything on invasive species, the one thing I hear the most is that humans are the most invasive species. And for a while, I was like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. And then I really got to think about it. What is an invasive species? And I came up with something pretty interesting. Okay. An invasive species is a non-native or alien to the ecosystem under consideration. And so this it's not just the, the non-native part. And is important whose introduction causes or is likely to cause economic or environmental harm or harm to human health. Non-native species are plants and animals living in an area they don't know they do not naturally exist. Non-native species and invasive species invasive species can be used interchangeably. Many commonly grown fruits and vegetables are not native to the US, for example. Tomatoes and hot peppers originate from South America, while lettuce was first grown by the Egyptians. Domestic cows are non-native to North America <coughs> excuse me, and were introduced as a food source and considered to be beneficial organism in an agricultural setting. Um, and then there was another uh, addition to that definition that I've heard that... Um, had to be brought to a place that wasn't it, under its own power. So invasive species are spread primarily by human activities, often unattended, um, people and good transported, travels, or uh, people and goods transported travels quickly around the world and often carry uninvited species with them. Invasive species can be introduced to an area by ship, ballast, water, firewood, accidental release, and by people. Insects can be transported easily in wood, shipping pallets, and crates shipped across the globe. Ornamental plants can be invasive after escaping in the wild. The release unwanted pets are another way invasive species are spread. Um, so, basically... For my general understanding of it, it has to be an, a species that goes from one place to another and causes harm um, without, like, un, not under its own means. So it's usually by people who bring it from point A to point B, and for whatever reason, whether intentional or non-intentional, and cause harm. Non-native doesn't is still an invasive species but it doesn't it you know you can have a non-native animal that doesn't do anything it doesn't affect anything it's just eventually it becomes native so like 500 years from now they're gonna be like oh yeah the, you know hogs are native hogs have been here for a long time that's just part of it now everything's used to it so like at certain point things become native like think about people in general people evolved in africa and expanded and went all over the world we didn't start in america we didn't start in europe we didn't start in australia we started in africa that's what we're where we're technically native to and then we spread throughout the world on our own accord we did it you know we changed the environment to suit us to be able to get us there by building boats and stuff like that but we got here on our own and most of it was just from people walking. And we settled into our little niches. And wherever we settled, we adapted to that environment. That's where the races come from. They're, we're still all humans. There's no difference in that regard. But we have different characteristics that help us live in the environments that our ancestors lived in. So that's why there are other races and there are, you know, certain groups of people can eat this thing better than others because you know where they lived at that but like we we've spread throughout the world long enough that we have 
adapted to that environment. We are not a non-native animal anymore. We have that. Everything is used to us. Yes, we totally go above and beyond that and conquer everything else. But like, like Native Americans crossed a land bridge back however many, you know, tens of thousands and not hundreds of thousands of years ago, whatever it was, and eventually made their way. They got there on foot when there was the Bering or is the Bering Land Bridge. Like, and then they, you know, settled in there. And the farther south they went, the darker they got because, you know, they had to deal with the sun. That's just how all of that works. And are you going to say that they're not native, but the white people coming across the sea, they're not native. They're the invasive ones. Well, it's the same thing that every human has done throughout all of history, including all these other animals. These animals all started in one place and branch off and become something else and branch off. And, you know, they travel a little bit. It's. I don't think humans are invasive. It doesn't matter. Like, so are we different because one group of humans came by later? Like we still it, sure Christopher Columbus may have been wrong on where he was but nonetheless he still made his way across the ocean and found another place that he they didn't know about and you know we know the history like that's still human expansion regardless of how you look at it I'm not none of this has anything to do with the people themselves it just has to do with how species move so with that definition I would say that humans are not invasive and give it enough time nothing is invasive because it eventually just becomes part of whatever environment it lives in the species around them either learn to deal with them because we're all on earth here it's one environment or are you gonna say you know something comes in and goes oh yeah you know we're native to earth so we're all technically here I don't know it's I think it, it just depends on whether or not humans can handle it basically if we can handle the destruction of crops because of a you know non-native you know insect or you know we put a cane toad in the cane fields to protect against the sugar cane beetle and all of a sudden now they're at australia and north america has them like crazy and then it becomes a problem we didn't think about or the tilapia being introduced in the lakes to control you know, from Africa into North America to be able to control, like, the hydrilla and other, you know, invasive weeds. Like, we, we do this for our benefit all the time. The, the, the Shoot, the butterfly peacock bass. Like, we introduce that. It outcompetes a lot of the native stuff. But it's good for money because people come down here and want to fish for them. So, like, we pick and choose what we want. You know, one thing is harmful and one... it. it to me, I just kind of, I, <sighs> eventually everything becomes native. Now, it doesn't mean that we shouldn't s try to slow things down because things obviously are taking root in the Everglades as an example. We always go back to that example, but they are starting to take root and spreading way more than anyone ever thought they would just because they can, like, it, it's so much like their home and they can just get in there and they feel really good. But, like... You know, they're, they're the Burmese python example is only in South Florida. You might have a few stragglers or maybe, you know, every once in a while. But they don't make their way up past Okeechobee, basically. And maybe given tens of thousands of years of being there, they might start to be able to tolerate cold a little bit more. But, you know, until then, does that make it a native animal at that point? Or because we transported it, it will always be not native. I I don't know to, about that, to be quite honest. But people, no. I don't think people are the most invasive species. I, in, you know, I am pro-human and I am pro-human expansion. Like, we we should look at ourselves as humans and realize that we are, we are something special. That doesn't mean that we put down the other things that, you know, inhabit this planet with us. But humans are special in the regard that we have that i don't know if consciousness consciousness is the right word but we can see all of this stuff the animals don't know that they're just trying to live wherever they are so 
that's my thought on it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. Maybe it's a little bit of both. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I am really interested in hearing that uh, because this is something that um, I see all the time whenever I make a, a video about invasive species. People freak out and are like, humans are the most invasive species, but I don't really think so. So anyway, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll have a good rest of your day.